the new Axial Base Camp 10-3. Now, the chassis is the base camp that we all know and love. Very versatile. You can do anything with it. Build it to your heart's content. The body is where it's at. Got some brand new scale accessories, brand new colors, and a lot of fun. Let's go. Let's kick this off with the chassis here. Now look, got the metal pan hard mount right here. Oil filled shocks, 25 spline servo, receiver ESC. I'm glad to see these two are still separate. That's a 40 amp ESC. Slick Rock 35 turn motor. That's something new that I haven't seen before. The rest of the truck is pretty much standard issue 10.3 which is awesome because there are parts everywhere in case you happen to break something. Overdrive, underdrive, portal gears. You can also change the transmission gears inside to work with straight axles if you want to do that. So a proven system right here. Let's get to the body. Now, not only do things work and move like the door mirrors, both sides, they function. These right here open. You can take these off, you can use them. Nice setup right here. I mean, these scale items add so much more to it. Plus the nice stickers, the nice snorkel for when you really get deep in the water. This is a beautiful body. Um, again, it's unlicensed, so they don't have to charge a lot for the licensing fees, all that kind of stuff, which makes it a more obtainable for us. This is the book that comes with it. Yes, you get transmitter batteries. This is the gear you swap into the transmission to make it work with straight axles because it takes a different ratio in the transmission to work correctly. You get windshield wipers, some tools. Here's your book, connector guide, all that stuff. So uh, yeah, as far as the transmitter goes, SLT3. So nice. Um, this right here isn't used for right now, but uh, who knows? I do believe there's a dig option available that can be put on this transmission, but obviously we're not dealing with that. So I'm going to go ahead and get a battery charge for the IC3 connector and uh, get this thing powered up. And we're going to get it outside. Let's see what it can do. Here we go, guys. Let's give this thing a drive. Now, I do got to tell you the scale items on top, they're functional. You can put things in them, but they are on top. So you kind of got to, ooh, tires are conforming well. You kind of got to take that into consideration. So this is a really, really nice setup for trail. You could actually put some tools in there, maybe your soda or something like that if you only drink a little bit. And uh, I mean, I've done nothing to the suspension or anything. Box stock, the tires look like they're conforming well. They are on glue wheels, so they don't have the uh, bead locks that you can take them out and adjust the inserts and stuff like that. But so far, so good. Now, the ESC and motor control seems to feel pretty decent, actually. It is brushed, and it is, you know, entry level, basically. But I can tell you this, I'm not having to really adjust the throttle all that much to make it work so and when you don't have to adjust your throttle all that much just to drive ledges that means that the motor's got a good torque density to it and your overall driving is going to be good drag brake looks good it is brushed so it's not a foc so it will have some drift down to it all right on the woods course right here this is a really good course for driving and I'm going to tell you why. Because as you get older, you don't want to be hunched over all day long following around a little truck. <laughs> oh, man. Looks good. Everything looks like it's clearing. Really nice right there. I'm telling you what, the torque from this motor feels better than the other ones I've run. Oh, Look at that recovery. Nice. Oh, axles didn't like the slide. But I do got to tell you, the torque feels really good, though. You might could... Uh... Now, the gears, 
that come in at optional for the straight axles. That reduces the transmission gear ratio, basically making it lower. If all you want to do is strict crawl like this, you can put those in it and really increase the crawl control and overall torque. So, I mean, now as it sits like this, you will have some trail speed, which is what the truck is aimed at, which I think is pretty darn good. I have all kinds of competition crawlers and this is a competition line right here. Let's see how it does. Oh, not quite what I had hoped for, but let's try it again. The trick to get this line is to pull all the way up on it and drop that front right tire down into it like this. It's possible I may have just came in the wrong line there. Ooh. Oh, oh I had to save it. But overall, I mean, the added weight from this up here is actually doesn't seem to be that bad and if you really want to keep it on there then guess what you can add well with the platform of this being basically 10-3 you can put just about anything you could possibly want on it and the aftermarket is fully loaded servo seems to be plenty strong enough for general trail duty Tires are actually doing really good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. To be fair, trucks like this generally don't do well on hopper. Let's see. That is pretty common for trucks at this level as far as not like competition trucks, but this is why it's called hopper when you see me crawl up this thing with different trucks and not spin a wheel that doesn't mean the little obstacle is easy like you see i have a bonus on it and you know we run a competition and people have such a fit on trying to get that 3s you can see how fast it is that's really good trail speed, in my opinion. And now we have Crack of Doom. This is where the body's probably going to get scratched. But we're going to try it. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. Now, if I can get the front end across. Ugh. Oh. oh, it's definitely showing the top heaviness. Let's try it from the bottom here. I can try that from here. I'd like to get across it. I mean, all right, we've got that. Okay. Oh, it is. <laughs> Uh, this is not crack it not a crack of doom truck is it let's give it a shot up gatekeeper nope that is not gonna work for it wonder if i can throttle up it nope this was a good run it can use a little bit of tuning a little bit of brass but all of that's available that's the beauty of having an existing chassis now as far as the scale items and all that they look wonderful they add weight up top but if you're a scale driver this is perfect for you it really is so um you got all the good stuff you got the metal pan hard mount the motor esc felt really good um I, like i said i didn't have to adjust 
my trigger finger very much to make it go. It seemed like it had lots of torque. So it, that was actually pretty nice to see, honestly. You can put that gear in it and you can slow it down a lot because that gear makes it like go faster or slower or something like that for the straight axles. And it would really make it slow here. So make it go slower. But regardless of all that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm going to run this thing again. See you guys later. Check those links. Hit that description. All those wonderful things. You guys have a great one. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.